Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, summer stomp photo opener, like this. So let's get started. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Now create another new composition. And this is our placeholder 1 comp. Then drag your image into the placeholder 1 comp. You can also use video footage for this, resize your image according to the composition. Now go to main comp and drag placeholder 1 into the timeline and convert into 3D layer. Then create new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Now go to 2 view horizontal and move the placeholder 1Z position far from the camera like this. Select the layer and search CC Reptile Effect. And change the all amount around 4000. And tiling repeat to unfold. So our comp looks something like this. Then search Hue and Saturation Effect. And change the master saturation and lightness around 40. This effect give a little faded look to our background. Now create one more new composition. And this is our media pre-comp one. Drag our placeholder one into to the media pre-comp one. Now here we have some elements. So drag the frame PNG into the timeline. So it's look like our photo frame. Now go to main comp, and drag media pre comp 1, into the timeline, and convert into 3D layer. And move Z position, far from the camera. And change the Z orientation, according to your choice, and adjust where you want. Then duplicate the layer, and move other side of the composition, and adjust position, and Z orientation. Perfect. Now drag the background pattern from elements folder. Convert into 3D layer. And change mode normal to hard light. Change opacity around 40%. And move the Z position far from the camera. You can adjust the gapping all three layers. Now select the pattern layer and search motion tile effect and change output width and height around 500 here you can see the pattern perfect, it's look good to me now duplicate the media pre-comp 1 layer and move above the background pattern layer and reset position and orientation. And move this layer also far from the camera, just above the background pattern. Cool. Now select any one media pre comp layer and search drop shadow effect. Distance 100. Softness 200 and opacity around 25%. Copy drop shadow effect 
and paste it on another media pre-comp layers. Here you can see, perfect. Now we need to add our text, so select text tool, and type your text, select text layer, and search drop shadow effect, softness 20, distance 10, and opacity around 20%. We also need to animate this, so open text layer. Go to animate, and select tracking. Go to first frame, and add a keyframe on tracking amount. Go to around 20 frame forward, and change the tracking amount 40. Then go to few frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then again go to few frame forward, and change the tracking amount 0. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Now we need to animate our camera, so create a null layer. Convert into 3D layer, and parent your camera with null layer. Make your text layer also a 3D layer. Now animate the null layer. So hit P for position, and Shift R for rotation. Go to around 20 frame forward, and add a keyframe on position, and orientation. Then go to first frame, and change the Z orientation, little bit, and move the X position left side of the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. You can also increase the Z position, little close to camera, if you want. Perfect. This is our first animation. Now create one more null layer. And convert into the 3D layer. And parent first null layer with second null layer. Hit P for position. Go to around 20 frame forward and add a keyframe. Then go to few frame forward. And move the Z position little backward side of the composition. You can adjust your keyframe according to your choice. Cool. Now again create a new null layer. This is for our outgoing animation. Convert null into 3D layer, and parent second null layer with third null layer. Then hit P for position, and shift R for rotation, go to 5 to 6 frame forward and add a keyframe on position and orientation. Then go to 20 frame forward, and move the Z position close to the camera, and also rotate the Z orientation. Now see how's our animation look. Cool. You can adjust the keyframe according to your choice. Now select the keyframe one by one, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Then select second null layers keyframe, and easy ease them. You can see our text animation not match with the second null layer animation. So open text layer. And adjust the keyframe according to second null layer's keyframe.
cool. Now easy ease your third null layers keyframe, and make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create one more null layer. This is our wiggle layer. Convert the layer into 3D layer, and parent third null layer with wiggle layer, select wiggle layer, hit P for position, then hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon, and type wiggle expression. Cool. Turn of the motion blur of all selected layers. Now select all layer and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1 comp. Check move all attributes into the new composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we want to create second scene. So duplicate the scene 1, and move where our scene 1 outgoing animation ends. Now go to project window, and duplicate the scene 1 comp here. Then hold alt key and drag the scene 2 comp, over the selected scene 1 comp layer. Open scene 2 comp. We also need to replace all this pre comps. So first select the placeholder 1 comp. Then go to project window, and duplicate the placeholder 1 comp here. Hold alt key and drag the placeholder 2 comp over the selected placeholder 1 comp layer. And change your image. Similarly replace all media pre comp. I am moving this part little fast forward, so that you don't have to wait. Open any one media pre-comp, and also replace placeholder 1 with placeholder 2. Perfect. Now we need to change our animation. As you know this was the R outgoing animation for scene 1. So open null 1 layer and delete the first keyframes. Then go to first frame, and move the Z position, far from the camera. And also adjust the second null layer Z position according to your choice. And also adjust the text layer keyframe according to null 2 layer. Cool. Let's see how's our animation look. As you can see we miss our orientation animation of scene 2, so go to scene 2. Go to the first frame, and change the orientation of null 1 layer. Here we can adjust the layer, and match the animation, so that our transition looks smooth. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to change our outgoing animation, so we need to adjust the third null layer keyframes. So delete the last keyframes. I want our position goes to the bottom side of the composition. Perfect, it's look good to me. Similarly you can add your third scene, 
and the animation come from top side of the composition, select both layer and pre-compose them. This is called scenes pre-comp. Now open elements folder, and drag light leak footage into the timeline. Change mode normal to screen. Then drag micro dust footage into the timeline. And change mode screen. Now create new adjustment layer. This is our color correction layer. Select layer and search brightness and contrast effect. Increase contrast around 20. Then search curves effect. And down the red curve little bit. Then search sharpen effect. And sharpen amount 20. Now create one more adjustment layer. This is for our glow effect. Then search glow effect. Glow intensity around 0.2. Glow radius around 500, and glow threshold around 70%. And change the layer opacity around 40%. This glow effect is an optional, you can skip this effect if you want. Now create new white solid. This is our noise layer. Then search noise effect. Layer mode normal to soft light. And increase noise amount 65%. Then search curves effect. And down your RGB curve like this. Here you can see the noise. Cool. Now we need to create black bar animation, so create a new black solid layer. Then search CC jaw effect. Completion, 85%. And height 0%. Now we need to animate this. So go to around 20 frame forward, and add a keyframe on completion. Then go to first frame, and change completion 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Cool. Turn on the motion blur of composition. You can change your text anytime. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.